Welcome to Nintendo Engineers. I'm your host, Chris Tysis, and we're here with Cat Lord the Review. Um, this is a vampire survivors like game, but with cats. Now, it's a very simplistic game. You have upgrades, such as um, upgrading your boar attack. You have a magma boar, which is based on the energy that you have. Shields, stomp damage, armor, move speed, stamina, pick up distance, etc. Very much like Vampire Survivors. And of course, you can change uh, your cat from uh, a few different cat designs, such as that. Now, there's only three levels that we have um, discovered here. Now, I'll show you some of the gameplay. Now, this is the game pretty much at full tilt. Now, I've played this game for about a couple hours, and I've literally unlocked everything in the game, which was fairly disappointing um, to, to sort of discover as you go along. Now, when you first play the game, it's obviously not this fast with the, the attacks and movements and things like that. So it does take a little bit of grinding, but if you're good at your Vampire Survivor style games, um, you will whip through this game like never before. And that's the disappointing thing um, about this game. I had high hopes for it. I thought, hey, it's got cats and it's Vampire Survivor. This should be good. But the problem is, even playing the game here, it didn't feel very satisfying at all. It just feels very generic, um, not super exciting. And it just gets a little frustrating too, um, trying to circle them around and defeating enemies and things like that. Um, you can use the stomp, which I don't think is very useful. I actually use the, the stomp to actually just jump away from enemies. That's how I've basically um, done that. But for me overall, with this game, it just feels too cheap and generic. There's not enough weapons in the game that is satisfying. The shield is not very useful, I would say. Um, in general, the stomp, I think, is a bit pretty average. And just everything about it just feels like it was a little bit of a cash in, in the, um, the Vampire Survivor category, which is disappointing. It feels like this was just a bit of a rush job. And the problem is... Um, this game normally retails here in Australia for twenty dollars, and Vampire Survivors is like seven dollars. So I think if you had your money, you would probably not be picking up a game like this in the, in the sort of genre category. Um, it is off eighty percent off, and I think possibly they know that um, because normally um, Dev Studios or publishers will do a heavy discount to, to jump up the charts of the eShop. But I think in this case, yes, you could probably pick it up for five bucks and have a bit of fun, probably with the kids. It's probably a good game with the kids, uh, this particular version, Cat Lord. But overall, even if I'm just running around doing this, you do get quite bored of it. You know, it's just throwing balls at enemies. You know, no spells, no different type of animations, or it just feels a little too generic. Um, almost like a browser game that you might find online. So I have high hopes for it. I hope maybe they do some download content or do another version where it's just adds some sort of depth and difficulty to it. It makes it more interesting, but it just feels a little cheap. So I would probably give this, you know, probably about a 4 out of 10. Um, but I would only buy this game if you like cats. And it's on a heavy discount, knowing that you're probably not going to spend much time with it. It's, it's a good game if you're on the bus, so to speak, right? 
but I think once you beat the game after a few hours, you probably won't be playing this again. So, it's a disappointment, but that's what happens with video games sometimes. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not that great. So, that is it for me, and I shall see you next time on Nintendo News.